How's it going, Cameron? Doing well, man. How are you? Very well, thank you. Yeah. So this has got to be exciting for you, right? Entering the world of Superman, <coughs> albeit 200 years in the past. What's man, it been like so far? It's thrilling. It's thrilling. And before I was ever an actor, I was just a dude who loved movies and comic books. So it's it's epic for me to be here. Yeah. Thrilled. So you can tell us a little bit about your character and you know where we find him um, in, in the start of the series. Yeah, so so my character, Segel, is the eventual um, grandfather of Superman. Um, he is the scion of the once great House of El, um, that was once at the very top of Kryptonian society and, and through no fault of his own has been um, stripped of his rank and sent to the very bottom, essentially is left for dead. Um, so when we meet him, he's been living, he's been growing up in a very, very harsh environment and um, where he has to struggle to survive. And so the elements of, of you know, this legacy that's out there and, and this sense of, you know, whatever it was that his family stood for, he's sort of very isolated from it, he's very separate from it. Um, what's real to him and the stakes for him is just making sure he can get through another day. And that's where we meet him at the beginning of our story. What are some of the key relationships for him? Um, some of the key relationships, so the, um, we, in Krypton we have some incredible uh, characters and, as well as other houses and, and uh, one of them is, is with Light of Zod. Um, and we have a fantastic actor, uh, Georgina Campbell, who's playing that role, and she's, she's epic in it. And um, so within Krypton, there's a very precise society, and there's a guild system, and she's within the military guild, she's a soldier, and Seg is a hustler, you know, from, from the streets, and, and uh, it should be oil and water, and especially in a society that is leaning on authoritarian, they're very precise ideas about who you are, what you can do, and what you can stand for and so for that to happen is an act of rebellion and uh, that is probably the most central relationship for my second in, in the show as we start off as far as like obviously I would imagine you want to make this your own character your own version of it but I was also curious if you um, as an actor with your choices if you were interested in honoring the legacy of Christopher Reeve and everything that had come before and kind of building that in if you could speak to that a little yeah bit. I mean Christopher I mean our first exposure with this character for a lot of us would have been Christopher Reeve's magnificent performance and, and uh, the credence he gave not only to Superman but also to Clark Kent and um, I love his performance and, and everything that he did as a person too but um for me, it's about a new story. This is forging a new path, and, and people aren't really sure what to expect. And uh, that's one of the most exciting things for us, is, is delivering a new story that's set within this fantastic world that has this great mythology that we're so proud to be a part of. So have you watched all the movies, what, uh, yeah, the comics, are you a huge fan of those? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I mean, since I could read, I grew up in the time of the great animated series, so I watched Batman and Superman and JLU and Batman Beyond. And so I knew who these characters were. You know, that was the time when nerd culture was starting to become pop culture. And then, I, I think I was 10, I was wandering around a bookshop, and I found that one of those big encyclopedias on Batman, and I was like... There were three Robins, and then this guy, and that was the first time I realised like how <laughs> this sto these stories were, and how interconnected their relationships were. And it blew my mind. It is mythology, and, and since then, you know, the first trade paperback I bought was Jeff Johns' uh, Teen Titans run, and that was the thing that made me a comic book fan, and I've been buying comic books ever since. Still do. Yeah. So, how did it feel when you got this role? Oh God, I mean, you just like, just I mean. It, it, as an actor, I started out in London. I was doing, you know, stage and, you know, aspired to do stage and indie films for the rest of my career. So, this was something I never even dreamed of. It was so far off the radar for me, and I was just content to be a fan. So now that I'm a part of it, it's a dream. You know, it doesn't feel real. You know, I feel like I'm going to wake up any second. And your character, will you have help clearing your name? Um, yeah, so so much of the story is how that S comes to mean what it means to us now. And um, and Seg isn't a complete character when he begins, um, and he needs to, to fill that role as well. So, yes, that is one of his primary motivators in the story, for sure. And will there be romance? Because, like, we gotta meet, if we're gonna get Superman, like, I assume there's gonna be a romance there at some <laughs> <Yeah>. point. <laughs> I'm sure we must at some so. point, yeah. 
Um, yes, there is the forbidden relationship with, with lighters artists, the, the star-crossed Yeah, I know you're not going to tell me if that's where the grandmother of Superman, well, we're going to have to wait and find that. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. Yeah, good, good effort. I applaud you. I was also curious, is the show connected to the DC film universe, or is it a standalone separate thing? The thing is, uh, um, DC is so great in letting people grow and develop their own paths, and we don't want to answer that question just yet, and, and we want to... We want to forge our own path. That's that's the most important thing for us now, and tell the best story we can, whilst paying homage to the things that have come out before and the things that are coming out now. And um, I can tell you that there will be some incredible characters that you would be familiar with, uh, who you might not expect to see on Clipton. Awesome. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers, guys.